Hello all, and welcome to the long dark tea time of the soul. Today I've got a prediction, or maybe it's more of a hunch to share, about what's coming up for the United States in the next couple of years. It's not a prediction that I particularly like, and I've already done three videos this week, so I'm not going to put too much effort in this video. But bear with me, because I think it's kind of interesting. Have you heard of an idea called basic income? The central idea seems to be that the government in a given country uh, would guarantee that each citizen receives a basic income. Whether or not they've earned it, whether or not they deserve it by some metric, they get it anyway. Obviously, this is not something that you could ever really expect to see in the United States. My understanding is that Switzerland may have a referendum on this coming up, and it's the sort of thing you'd expect some Scandinavian country to be into. Oh yeah, on the topic of basic income, I'm pretty sure this guy, this guy could use one. Sort of nice open fire under a nice beautiful old monument. <sighs> Turkey's an interesting place to live. But fun. I describe myself as a libertarian. This mostly comes down to the sort of sense of horror that I have at American Empire and our sort of foreign policy adventures. But it also goes a lot deeper than that. I really do believe that the interventions of the federal government have functioned to make all kinds of basic goods like health, education, and real estate more expensive than they needed to be. And it would strike me as a bit of a shame if we ended up opting for some kind of basic income thing to solve a problem that the government had actually created. If you'd mentioned basic income to me three months ago, I would have told you that it lived in the same sort of political la-la land that uh, slavery reparations or ending the Fed lives in. Uh, ideas that may appeal to certain people, but don't actually make any practical sense in the United States. I've been kind of shaken, though, over the past couple months. Uh, I've been shocked by the fact that Donald Trump is still in the running. I've been surprised by the success of Bernie Sanders. And I've come to a realization that I think their appeal comes from the same place. I think there's a very real thirst in the United States for more economic justice. I, I, think, I think that's a shame. I don't really necessarily even agree with the concept of economic justice, but uh, to paraphrase uh, Margaret Thatcher in a way that I'm pretty sure she'd hate, uh, the politics of today are not libertarian. <laughs> I left something out here. What I meant to say is that this whole Sanders and Trump thing may end up shoving the folks in charge towards socialism. The first modern social insurance system was developed in the 1880s in Germany. It wasn't done by some rabble-rousing Sanders type. It was set up by Otto von Bismarck, the super elitist aristocrat who crushed France and founded modern Germany. Bismarck couldn't care less about the people, but the success of socialist parties convinced him that he had to steal socialist ideas to hold on to power himself. It worked quite well, and the welfare state was born. I wouldn't be surprised if we see similar calculations in the coming months and years from establishment Republicans and Democrats, like Larry Summers. They'll probably gussy it up as something like an expanded earned income tax credit or something, but it will be a massive shift regardless. And I really do think that, well, I really do wonder whether, if in the next 10 to 20 years, the whole concept of a basic income is something that we might actually see in the United States. I don't know, could just be late night crazy talk, but it seemed worth sharing to me. Uh, why don't you guys let me know what you think of this? Or um, really anything. Also, uh, please subscribe. And uh, if you want to see a lot more high quality videos, like the ones I've been linking as I've been talking, not like this one, uh, please click on the Patreon link here uh, to support us. Uh, fourth video in this week, which. Makes me very tired. Anyway, uh, many thanks and good night.